In this video I'm going to explore the second of the core algorithms that I wanted to talk about for computer science. Um, and this one is to create a simple delaying algorithm. Now in a lot of programs what you want is um, for the program to run but then for it just to hang for a few minutes or hopefully not a few minutes but a few seconds uh, just while something is happening or to allow the user to uh, to get ready for something or whatever. Okay, So I'm going to show a simple algorithm here that will allow us to do that. Now there are many other ways to do this and um, this is just one of the simplest ways to do it so please don't, uh, you know, if you're a programmer please don't criticize my method I know that this kind of is a waste of resources but nonetheless it's effective especially for simple uh, programs. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of something called the clock. Okay, now the clock is similar to the time uh, function, but what the clock does is it clocks how many milliseconds have elapsed since the beginning, since the program started running. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a long variable and I'm going to call it reference time. Okay, and I'm going to set it to be equal to the clock. Okay, I'm also going to create a delay variable and I'm going to set it to be 2000. Now, what this is meant to be is the the number of milliseconds that I want the uh, program to delay for. Okay, so I want to delay for 2,000 milliseconds, which is 2,000 seconds. Okay, and then what I do is I set the reference time to be clock plus two oh, delay. Okay, so it will be whatever the delay is. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put like a C out statement here just to say uh, program started. Okay, so just something like that. And then what I'm going to do is have another C out statement saying program ended. Okay, just to see um, how these are going to appear. Okay, and w if I run this right now, what we'll see is it'll say program started and program ended right away, both together. Okay, so program started, program ended. Now they don't happen actually together, but they happen so quickly apart that you can't really tell. So what I want to do is I want to create a delay somewhere in between here, uh, so that as it'll say program started, wait for two seconds, and then say program ended. Okay, so what I do is I set the reference time to say uh, clock plus delay. Then what I do is I just create a while loop here. So I say while um, reference time minus the clock okay, is greater than zero. Okay, now the reason why this works is let's say for instance um, the reference time is let's say um, 10 or let's say the clock is 10 and so re clock plus delay would be like 2010. Okay, so it's, let's say it's right at the very beginning of the program, so it's 2010. Then what I'm doing is I'm saying reference time minus the clock, and the clock is continuously updating as time elapses. So as it's 2020, or it'll be 10, and then 20, and then 30, and then 40, and when they, when they subtract, it's always going to be greater than zero as long as the clock is less than the reference time. So the clock has not yet met the reference time that, we're, that we've set up up here. And the reference time is is the delay longer, so it'll have to wait that long before it's less uh, before uh, this becomes less than zero or equal to zero. Okay, and then all I do is just say do nothing. Okay, so I have an empty body for a while loop, and yeah, so while the reference time uh, minus the clock is greater than zero, then just do nothing, just wait. Okay, and here we go. Let's see what happens. Okay, so program started program ended. Okay, and let's see, so 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, so pretty close to 2 seconds. Now, if you're looking for something really, really precise, this is not going to work, um, mainly because I set the reference time up here to be, uh, let's say, the clock plus 2,000 milliseconds, but then just printing this line, for instance, takes up a few milliseconds. Right, so it's not exactly going to be that, but it's going to be fairly close. And for most intents and purposes, it's going to be um, the right amount, of, or it's going to be the right approximate amount of time. 
Anyways, um, that's how you do a simple delay. If you have any questions, please uh, give me a comment in the comment box or else uh, send me an email. If you do like the video, uh, throw a uh, hands up or a thumbs up. And also, if you do like the channel, then please uh, consider subscribing.